Today we're talking about self-love <laughs> and self-care. So let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a topic that is so important and that is self-love and self-care. And I'm not talking about the superficial stuff of going out, buying materialistic objects. It is literally about looking after yourself and making yourself your biggest priority. A few weeks ago, I completely ran myself to the ground. On top of that, it was Mercury retrograde. Around the time, it was the Aquarian full moon. I'm Aquarian, so... <laughs> and um, things were really hitting the fan. And all of a sudden, I became numb and I lost that spark in me. And it was scary because I have had a past of depression and mental illness. And I knew, knew that I didn't want to go back down that path. So I decided to make myself my biggest priority once more and went on a road trip to fill up my soul. And I've just come back from Byron and my soul is filled and that's why I can share this message now. So I'm going to be using a few different props. Love props. So in this cup, we have self-love. And in this one, we have a wife. So this is us. This is every single one of us has a cup like this. And you do not want to get to this stage where your cup is completely empty. You want to be able to fill that cup up with things that you love. What are your hobbies that are non-competitive? Um, who are the people that you love to be around that don't suck the energy from you but that actually inspire you? Um, what makes you smile? Uh, whatever it is, this is the thing that you need to put in your self-love cup to make you the happiest and most vibrant person that you are. In this cup, we have life. So everything that we give our energy out in our life. So it's from family, jobs, relationships, stresses, commitments, and the list goes on and on. And at the moment, life is completely empty as well. But what we need to do is have like a balance of giving, you know, enough love to ourselves and giving enough love and energy to the areas in our life. And so in comes an Orchid Street juice. So it's not sponsored. I just literally went up to my local cafe because I could not be bothered to make a juice right now. So this one's really good. It's got like lemon and mint in it along with celery, apple, kale and ginger. So it's super good. Fill, it went everywhere. Okay. Fill up the self-love cup. Oh, how it fills that. It's got a little bit left, so I'll just have a sip. Good. Oh, this is gonna get messy because I'm gonna be pouring stuff. Ugh. This is your self-love cup. It's full and it's vibrant and you feel really good. You have enough energy, but all of a sudden, your family starts going crazy. So, a little bit of that energy goes in there because you know you worry about your family. You care for your family. You have to cook for your family. And then all of a sudden, your job gets a little bit intense more energy goes into there oh my god my job's getting intense i'm still happy i've still got some self-love in here then all of a sudden your relationships hit the fan you back into those relationships and then you know more relationships come up and people unload on you and they drain and suck your energy and they can be quite negative and more of your energy goes into that. And then you might have some stresses in your life. You may have got a parking fine, you silly little thing. You may have, um, you know, some bills to pay. You may have drama that's coming up. You may have a wedding to plan. Yep. And so, again, more energy goes in. And then you might have some commitments, some things that you really need to tend to. And that is quite overwhelming to you. And all of a sudden you start feeling really anxious and really tired and then you start losing sleep and again more energy starts to go in. And so life has taken your energy away and all the people that's made up in your life, good and bad energy has gone into that cup. And what are you left with? An empty cup. So the next time someone comes to you and says, can I have a chat? I really need to talk to you. Sure but you have no energy left, you have no fuel left. So you try to pour, but you can't give out what you don't have. 
So instead, it is balance. Let's pour it back in. Woo! <laughs> okay, so your, your self-love is filled. So, you know, again, your job might become really stressful, so you put some of that in. Once your job's stressful, on the weekend you decide that you're gonna give yourself a massage. A little bit of that energy comes back into you. Um, you know, you have a relationship breakdown, you might break up with your partner, or a friend start, um, leaves your life, and you freak out again. More of that energy pours into that situation. And then again, <laughs> you decide, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself to a weekend in Byron. And then you feel that back up. And so it's all a balance of giving and receiving. You cannot give out what you don't have. So make sure you fill up your self-love cup. And it could be as simple as sitting there with a cup of tea, a cup of beautiful chai, and just being in silence and stillness, saying a positive affirmation to yourself, drinking and sipping on that tea and enjoying every little moment because you deserve it. Self-love tastes pretty good, guys. <laughs> if you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Peace out, everyone, and make sure that you're filling up your cup.